Hello and welcome back to Pistol Kid Plays Doom. This is Brigandine by uh, Viggles, a map, a single map what from 2017. It's almost five years ago. Makes you think. But this one is, uh, well, it was recommended for its high level of detailing and uh, in deathmatch type of gameplay, even though it's normal single player. Um, but very little tweaks to the normal uh, Doom uh, formula in when it comes to textures and the like we can already see some uh, impressive looking texture and detailing here let's put behind the starting door no there isn't let's uh head into it this is an ultra violence blind run which means that we're really uh, going to be dodging a lot of missiles huh Yeah, the water itself described it as a deathmatch type of gameplay. I guess we have to keep running, eh? Where's that super shotgun guy? There he is. Of course, he's just a regular shotgun guy, but... Uh, where's that shotgun guy and where is my super shotgun? You have been fighting Revenants. With a boomstick. Alright, that's them dealt with. Let's pick up this ammo and health. Quick save. And just take a moment to admire the visuals here. That's lovely little detailing here on the floor as well. Oh boy. Yeah, GC Doom, there's no problem running this. Awesome. Uh, I don't have a clue how to progress. Let's try this door, huh? Yeah. Let's get this chain gun. Ooh, and there's a pain elemental here, but let's deal with these hit scanners first. Ah, ammo uh, was just about to be star for some. Okay, yeah, let's deal with these uh, flying nuisances. By the way, before we play on, I'm just gonna quickly change some of these sound settings. I think it's a little better. Though this music is awesome, it's also a little loud compared to the in-game sound. Alright. Yeah, I see a lot of uh, some of my favorite textures here. And that's... Uh, what's it called? The wood mat one? Good to make these kinds of metal girders with. Yeah, this is what uh, Flith could have looked like if I had spent, uh, well, if I haven't spent the last 10 years doing other stuff than do mapping. I'm not saying I would have made this, I'm saying I would have wanted to make this.
But the uh, mapper himself also admits that he spent a long time on this, uh, which uh, you can definitely see. There's that spectre we met earlier. And is there uh, an armor? There's an armor here. I don't want to waste my shells on these guys. What the hell was that? Is a little bit tight on this map. We do have some rockets, but no rocket launcher. It's kind of weird seeing uh, regular Doom guys again after playing, uh, was it three weeks of Christmas Watts? Like, look at this guy. He's not even wearing a hat. It's just a normal revenant. Okay. I'm quick saving a lot, I don't know why. I guess the openness of the map and the sounds all around kind of... I get a little bit angsty here. Oh, look at this pillar. Oh, that's some impressive detailing. Yeah, this is why you make limited removing maps. That's some nice uh, curvy skin textures. Oh, yeah. And these aren't switches, of course. They're just there. Oh, these little brick towers, too. Oh, that's... Looks so good! <laughs> Come on, I've never played this bot before. Oh, there's a rocket launcher and our good friend some shotgun here. Ooh, this is uh, some night blood here. Yeah. Nope, there's two of them. Oh, this map looks so good. Uh, just gotta pay, pay some amount of attention to all the baddies that are around. I'm glad I survived this encounter. Okay. What did that do? Okay, we're just out here again? Alright. That's the reds. We don't have any keys yet. Uh, I don't even really know where I'm going. This map is big. Gotta give it that too. The key, look at that monster count, and you have no idea what to expect if they. Uh, how fast these monsters are thrown at you, what kind of monsters, but uh, these aren't. Just imps and shotgun guys. 
Where am I going? This just leads back here. Okay, some more health. Can't tell if that's gameplay area or just scenery. Ooh. Little chapel with a uh, backpack. There's six secrets on this map too. So uh, far we've only found one. Okay, well, Mr. Skeleton was hiding in the closet. Ooh, there's a need a red key to get that mega charge later. Oh, look at this! These bricks are falling off, revealing tech underneath. Oh, it's such awesome detailing. I don't mind. I'm treating a little bit. Ah. This uh, this door is a little bit weird because it's not a door; it's a lift. It makes the timing of it very unusual. Okay, this is back here. We've been here. This is where we just came from. And this is where we're going, I guess. Another red key. So it's gonna be trapped again. Oh yeah. Get the hell out of there. Oh, there's a Mr. Pain Elemental. There he is. Kill him with extreme approaches. What the hell is that Gecko Demon doing? Guess it's not agreeing with the scenery. I have a red key. Oh, and I have a supercharge. Lovely. Oh, there's another pain element as well. You're coming. You're coming up. There's also a lot of verticality to this level, which is something um, I didn't do much for Slith. Um, Slith's maps were quite flat in a way. I mean, I... I don't know why I keep making that comparison. Maybe that's just because it's my baby and it's... It's also um, like vanilla textures, uh, unaltered Doom gameplay. How am I dealing with these chain gunners? It's the old fashioned way. Huh? I hear more of them. There's one. No, still no way to get that uh, backpack. Goodbye. I hate it when the Kaku Demons float off all the way out of the level. You're not Santa. 
Oh. Alright. We're about halfway through and well, we're running very low on ammo again. Yeah, ammo seems to be quite tight. Oh, there's some ammo here. Um, yeah, it helps to go uh, look for it. So. There's uh, our blue key and some mega armor. Which I guess we will be going for. Okay, let's grab a stim pack and then head down. Once again, weird door. Once again, not an actual door. Don't you love it? That's just something you can do with with Doom. Yeah. God, I love Doom mapping. Got back into the hobby just over a year ago and. After maybe 12, 13 years of absence. It's kind of funny that um, most maps made these days are actually less detailed than the maps uh, we made 15 years ago. Oh god. Uh, I hope that. We dodge that. All right, art fell down. Oh, that could have come better. I could myself be talking. Yeah, uh, the maps we made like 15 years ago looked a lot more like this than um, uh, modern day maps. There was a there was a time when, um, you know, limited moving ports have been around a while. PCs got a little bit uh, better, so people started making really excessively beautiful detailed maps like this. And then um, it was a time when people were like, yeah, you can make a map as, as pretty as you want, but it doesn't really affect gameplay, so the time it takes you to make this, you could be making, uh, I don't know, six other maps, an entire episode, just by yourself. Um, people also said, no, it's, it's important to have uh, a certain amount of beauty without detailing, so people started using textures a lot more rather than uh, um, a lot of sector work as, as, as you can see here uh, in this world we can jump down here this goes back up okay So, I'm not saying the maps that we get these days aren't pretty. I'm just saying that they are less detailed. And um, well, it's a different kind of style. There is a puzzle. Oh, and there are some more baddies. Which a map like this, it's it's either going to be 10 to 15 years old, or it's going to be someone's pet project. Like, you're not going to find a map like this. Uh, no, so no one's going to make a 30... Oh, I'm distracting myself again. Damn you. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, well, we're not doing too bad. That, that, that was a lot of damage, and we desperately need some armor now. Okay, um, 
Yeah, as I was saying, we um, you're not gonna find this in a uh, a community project or a 30 level megawatt or even a, an entire episode. It's just just too much work to make. Oh, you tease. Okay, well, we can jump down here. Put okay, we'll these cacodemons first. So when you look at a map like this, you gotta wonder like, does the uh, excessive amount of detailing add to the gameplay? Or if it's, is it just a walk around the museum? And truthfully, two maps can be a bit of both. And, uh... Okay, well, losing some frame rates here, but okay, I don't like this fight. Neither does Mr. Revenant. It's stuck on his very, very little small lift, and then a revenant's waiting, blocking me in. It's a little bit too vertical for me. And that's something that I, uh, I fault myself in as well, from time to time, where I... Holy... Well, we're almost dead. Where I put aesthetics in front of gameplay. Because I tend to design maps very much from an aesthetics first point of view and then put gameplay in second. And that's what I admire about mappers like Clippy and Astro X, which who uh, will make, first of all, some more maps than I do. Nice, some armor, we needed that. They uh, make up some more maps than I do, but they're also gameplay first. So, and I don't mind releasing maps that look, you know, that look like they could have been made in the 90s. Let's, uh, let's put it that way. I'm not saying that their maps are bad. I'm just saying they don't have the same amount of visual and aesthetics uh, level, of, uh, quality levels. As, uh, something like this does. But then again, this probably took six months to make, rather than two evenings on the couch. Okay, I, I gotta focus up now, because... Uh, don't want to be dying, you know? That was a secret. Let's uh, deal with this pain element. God. And see, that's what you get. You get stuck in the scenery. I love these cages, by the way, but that's, uh, that's fine. Down you go. That's just a teleport. Well, that's not a secret, but uh, it's welcome. Yeah, I'm I'm really not fond of this lift. It's it's too small. It's uh... feels like you don't really fit on it. This is some nice, great detailing here too. All right, we got uh, about seventy more enemies to go. And this, uh, this is a lot. Gonna be a long video.
Okay, I don't know where that artfall is, but uh, I'm glad I dodged him. This might be the Ragnatons. Um, out of bullets again. Alright. No longer out of bullets. He's down there. Well, that's an awkward place. That's... There's a lot of enemies down there. Yeah, he, he probably teleported in when I grabbed that yellow key. Yeah, I'm just gonna be a coward and hide behind this door. So I do not have the advantage here. Yeah, advantages with that art file. How the hell am I gonna deal with you? Guess from up here? Resurrect him. See, I, I also need to distract the arch file so he doesn't start r resurrecting pinkies all the time. Oh no, I jumped down. Well, I'm dead. Nope. We're alive, baby. Okay, I'm, I am alive, but I'm also profoundly out of ammo and health and everything that's nice. Oh, that's, that's just back here. Right. Yeah. Okay. Nope. Awesome. I guess the exit is open, but we don't have any stuff. Nope. No, no, no. Okay, I, I don't know what to do. <laughs> I'm literally two rockets and eight health. So let's uh, uh, some health here. So anything in these alcoves here? Yeah, some health at least. Nothing here. The resources are very tight on this map. Still no... Uh... Still no luck on that backpack either. There's some rockets up there. Well, that helps a little bit. Oh, that's just it's here. Yeah, this level is so. We call it intricate. It, it, it moves back on itself all the time. So it's very open too. Kind of surprised I'm still getting frame rates like this. It's, This is the kind of map I'd expect Cheesy Doom to have a ton of problems with, it, but only encounter some drops in some areas. Okay, uh, I have seven rockets. I have fifty-three health. Just uh, let's see if I can make a move. Oh, the art files down. We have more rockets. And there 
there's our exit. Wow. Look at this broken down castle. Like, like just this, this scene is like something you'd spend a week on. Just to give you a view when you reach the exit. That's it. It has no purpose. It's just awesome. Huh. That was Brigadine. I have no idea where those last 40 or so enemies went. But uh, we, we finished the map in one piece at well less than 30 minutes. Would you look at that. 29.59. Uh, a great looking uh, what, uh, like I said, um, very much feels like someone's uh, 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 love project. It's made by Viggles, who uh, also made Breach, uh, a Kek Award winner in 2015. Uh, I think this might have made a, uh, uh, won a, a Kek Award as well. I'm not sure. I think it did. Maybe I should go and check. Well, maybe you can go and check for it for yourself. The link is in the description below. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.